Welcome back to our Remembering Bud Adams Fox 17 News Special. Now, even though Mr. Adams never lived here in Middle Tennessee, he was still a very big part of Nashville. Mr. Adams was responsible for bringing pro football here to the Mid-State, and when he passed away from natural causes at the age of 90, one of the very first people to step up and offer comment is former Titans head coach Jeff Fisher. In a statement from St. Louis, Fisher said, Mr. Adams gave me my first opportunity to be a head coach in the NFL, and I'm eternally grateful to him for that. We enjoyed a great deal of success together during my 17 seasons with the organization, and I will cherish those memories the rest of my life. Jeff Fisher also added uh, that his thoughts and prayers are with the Adams family during this difficult time. For more reaction, let's now check back in with Paul Jones. Scott, one of the things that the former players agree on, Bud Adams was not the kind of NFL owner who hovered around the team, but he did keep a close eye on them. In fact, the players say they knew Adams was an owner who watched his team very closely from his home base in Houston. And occasionally they would see him show up after games, especially after a big Titans victory. And there's one big thing that they say Adams will be remembered for, bringing professional major league sports to Music City. If you think about it, I mean, he put Nashville on the map for something other than country music. I mean, the reality is the Predators probably wouldn't be here. It wouldn't be near attractive a city to, to plant an NHL team in if there wasn't already the existence of the NFL. You know, he started the AFL and you know, went to the Super Bowl and is a successful businessman. So, you know, even though it's sad for the family, but it's, it's, it's a day of rejoicing because it's a day of rejoicing to see a man accomplish what he accomplished. Sanders also talked about another interesting story. He said that Bud Adams' nickname for him was Go Long Sanders. That's because Chris scored nine receiving touchdowns as a rookie. A kid, I dreamt of playing professional sports, and he gave me that opportunity. For that, I'm, I'm grateful. Up next, we'll hear from former Houston Oilers quarterback Dan Pastorini and see how Mr. Adams' hometown reacted to news of his death. Bud Adams is a very important figure in the history of Nashville. Plus, city leaders, both current and past, talk about Bud Adams and how he left his mark on Nashville.